Look at that, so shiny like a black pearls. Black corn, if you've never had this, so then making you a dessert. My husband doesn't know. I surprised him with a special dessert. Even there's no chocolate. I also got some fresh, just regular corn. We're gonna mix this up. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello. Before we start making this dessert, thanks to my sponsor today, HelloFresh. I will show you what I made for my circus today. Then the surprise black corn dessert for my husband. So let's open this. It's a big box. Some recipes. Oh, ice. Oh, chicken penne. Search with pork tacos. Wow. White cheddar wonder burger. Oh, kids will love all this tacos, burgers, so many options. And here's the meat pack on the ice. Just got back from my vacation. HelloFresh is perfect. Tomorrow, my kids back to school. And I didn't have time to go to grocery store. The average trip there is 41 minutes. All the ingredients pre-portioned, so easy. I'm gonna make this less than 30 minutes, maybe 20 minutes. Let's cut the potatoes, fries, and burger. We are not just eating Chinese food every single day. Sometimes we have American food. Comes with the seasoning, just toss in. Some pepper, drizzle some oil, give a little massage, make tossing on the baking sheet. So easy. I make this like in two minutes, pop in the oven. Mm. On this end, back to school tomorrow. Try to get everything ready. Paperwork, backpack, label everything to cook dinner. HelloFresh is perfect. Save me time. Fresh ingredients like these and directly from the farmers. Follow easy instructions. Now we're supposed to put the sauce in. Everything's about easy meal, quick cooking. Brush some oil in here. The burger meat is very tender and juicy. You can get delicious meal by go to HelloFresh.com and use my code COOKINGBUM14 to get 14 free meals, including free shipping. Remember, go to HelloFresh.com and use my code Cooking bomb 14 to get 14 free meals, including free shipping. One of my kids don't eat burgers, but HelloFresh offers a wild variety of quick meal options. This should eat pork tacos. Slice everything. I will be making this like in 15 minutes. So easy. I use wok. You can use a pan for taco. HelloFresh have five star recipes and other meal kit. Guaranteed delicious. Taco in my Chinese stir fry way with a HelloFresh recipe. Everything delivered fresh. And this delicious sauce. Oh, look at the color. Orange. Fresh squeeze by my hand. Oh, so sweet. So good. Thank you, HelloFresh. What delicious meal tonight, and they have leftovers for school tomorrow. Supper I mean the most is this citrus pork tacos with so many layers of flavor and the recipe to make this onion pickle in the middle. Oh, it's the best. Creamy. How's the taco? Good. Mm. Okay. The taco. Yeah. I know mm -hmm. professional people. Put the more meat in there. Watch this. How's that? Mm. Go take a bite. Mmm, delicious. This is the organic black corn original packaging from a local Asian market. Inside is vacuum sealed and it can keep until next January. Let's open this. Look at vacuum sealed, individual packs, shiny. Looks like I can make a necklace from this. We also got some fresh rigor corn. We're gonna mix yellow, black. It be so pretty. We will blanch in the water first. So you can compare yellow, black. Blanch the corn first. Get rid of the raw flavor. I put black corn in first because it has tougher and stickier texture. Then for a while, then I add the regular corn. After the water boils, I keep them in there for another two minutes. Then take it out, cool on the side. Now just took this out of the hot water. You can just eat this boiled, even microwave and steam, or on the grill. So let's taste one. What's the difference between the regular corn and the black corn? Mmm. Mmm. The black corn, the texture more dense, I would say tastes similar to sticky rice. This is crunchier, a little more chewy, I like that, and tastes like a boba. 
<laughs> Corn boba. Have this. Show the special tool here. When I first started using this in my first time, I was kind of thinking, does this gonna work? I turn a different direction. This direction seems works the best. Look at that. Just twist, twist. I got all the corn off. I'm just hiding here, eating some leftover on this cup. Mm. So good. <laughs> Sticky and chewy. I love this. To add some color in the dessert, I add some regular corn and adding some crunchy texture, not just sticky chewy. Ooh. I'm gonna mix in some ingredients, cornstarch and glutinous rice flour. Some of you asked me what difference is glutinous rice flour and this is a regular rice flour. <laughs> kind of confusing. So today I'm using this one, glutinous rice flour. Uh, in Chinese, a nuo mi fen. So nuo mi is a sweet rice, so it tastes a lot stickier than the regular rice flour. So those are totally different rice. I'm talking about a lot of Asian ingredients, how to shop at Asian market in my new book. It's called Asian Market Cookbook. Check a link down below. Pre-order now. I have so many more details, so many recipes in there. I want to share with you. Thank you so much. It's getting pretty late, but who doesn't want to be wake up and have this fantastic dessert? This is like a three ingredient dessert. In the end, you can add some sugar, but optional. The corn already sweet. So now we add glutinous rice flour, cornstarch. Then I'm looking for my chopsticks. I spend so much time in the kitchen and this is my exercise of the day, right? I measure for you guys today. If you know me, you know. I never measure. I measure with my Chinese eyeballs. Pretty accurate. Been cooking for so many years and I just eyeball it. Maybe you wanna learn that? Just practice with me. Or use my measurements. I did for you. We add some water. Now it's getting there. Then we'll be frying the oil. I know this is a considered dessert in China. My husband doesn't consider anything dessert if it's not made of chocolate. Well, when I grew up, I didn't have real chocolate. Back at that time, like in the 80s, 90s, it was like a fake chocolate where I grew up in Sutra. It just didn't taste very good. It wasn't real chocolate. Um, so I never liked it. I thought chocolate tastes terrible. I bet this is probably good with chocolate too. Pour some chocolate sauce in it. This looks like a little pancake dessert, right? But it's like a corn pancake. I brush a thin layer on here. Then on the side, we are heating some more oil. I bet this will pop a bit good in the air fryer. I'm trying next time. Be careful watching this, don't burn. Don't cut on fire. If you hear the noise like that, the sticky corn mixture. Okay, in this pan, pretty sticky and stiff. And then we're gonna just press down into like a pancake. Look at this. I would test the oil with a chopstick. If it's bubbling in here, that means too hot. Turn the heat on medium. You won't burn your corn pancake. This is good, not just dessert. Good snack, good breakfast, right? My kids love this. Midnight snack, in bed, in sleep, in the dream. What do you guys think that? I will take you upstairs to see everybody sleeping. I'm the only person up. That always the case. My older daughter Wendy, yeah, she's always up, but she's not home today. Turn on medium here. And now we pour this over. Here just sound. Now you turn, turn, turn like a pancake. So test if you can take this out like a one piece. Oh look at that, like a one piece of pancake. Then you are ready. We drain oil on the paper towel. This is like whole pancake. Transfer on a plate. Get a piece. So crunchy. That's how we serve in China as the dessert. You can skip this because the corn already very sweet. Now it's your corn, black corn dessert. Just hear the sound. Look at this piece. Let's take a bite. 
Mm. So crunchy. It's crunchy, sweet, and also the black corn, sticky, chewy texture. There's so many layer of texture in here. With just the yellow corn, if you can find a black corn in your local Asian market. Let me cut a piece for my husband. I'm gonna bring it upstairs. It's like a little pizza. How about wake up with some dessert? Mm. Are you drinking? How's that? Mom? You can eat the food when your eyes closed. Mhm. Mm What's what do you think describe this? Crunchy. I have a weird dream. What's your dream? Eating corn? Oh, it's so dark in here. What's your dream? I'm in an elevator. Doing what? Right in the elevator. Elevator dream. Not very good. Thank you so much for watching this episode of my Chinese cooking. And if any recipe you want to me to cook, comment below here and subscribe. Thumbs up. I have a black corn pancake for you. Mm.